Sometimes there's a misconception that Google Cloud only runs TensorFlow. Well, there are many deep learning libraries out there, and GCP runs much more than just TensorFlow. How do we get other machine learning libraries running on GCP? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to AI Adventures, where we explore the art, science, and tools of machine learning. My name is Yufang Guo, and on this episode, we're going to see how to run PyTorch on Google Cloud. There's a lot of options, so let's dive right in. If you want to get your hands on PyTorch and have no installation or setup, then there's well, no easier way to do so than using something like Colab or Kaggle Kernels. You can just sign in with your Google account, and you're ready to use PyTorch. Just import and go. Codelab has a neat GitHub integration, additionally, that allows you to pull in any public IPython notebook file on GitHub directly into Colab. So if you're working through an examples repo and you want to try modifying and running the code for yourself, it's super easy. You can just go to File, Open Notebook, select the GitHub tab, and paste in the URL of the repository or that user's name. You can also link directly to a GitHub notebook in Colab by copying the URL that comes after github.com and pasting it directly after colab.research.google.com slash github, which we are showing here. Now, on the Kaggle side of things, there is a vast library of kernels available from the community across many data sets, often with excellent discussion and annotations. So you don't have to start from scratch. And again, you don't have to worry about installing anything or doing configuration. Just sign in, and you're ready to edit your code. Another option for the PyTorch developers out there are the deep learning virtual machines, which we've covered a couple different ways on this show. You can select an image that is pre-baked with PyTorch alongside any NVIDIA drivers you may need for GPUs that you might choose to attach. This option is great if you really want to crank up that compute power and have full control over your environment, including being able to save your work directly to your virtual machine, as opposed to Google Drive on Colab or onto Kaggle kernels. Finally, I want to point out that Google is working with the PyTorch team to enable TensorBoard support to visualize training progress, as well as TPU support. So considering that you can run Colab with TPUs, for free, that's going to be an awesome combo. So if you're overflowing with ideas about how you'd like to use cloud TPUs with PyTorch, email the team at pytorch-tpu at googlegroups.com to tell them what types of PyTorch workloads you would most be interested in accelerating. There are options to suit all kinds of PyTorch use cases on GCP. Whether you are looking to just get started or if you're looking to spin up a big training job, there's a solid PyTorch-friendly way to get it done on Google Cloud. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that Like button and subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. For now, jump over to your favorite environment to run PyTorch on GCP today.